And then over May, June, July, August of, of, of uh, 1998, the Lord expanded the revelation. I didn't have another vision. He just expanded and told me what this was. I heard Osama bin Laden. I heard Islamic terrorism. Hmm. Agra-terrorism. He told me, the f now listen to this. He said, the pantries and cupboards will be full of food, but the people will dare not eat it. It's poisoned. Oh. Oh. They, he was showing me they will, they will poison the food at the food processing plants. In millions of cans and boxes will go out and nobody will know which one has been poisoned. And people will be starving because they dare not open a can. They don't know. It'd be like Russian roulette. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, he told me, this is when he told me EMP. He told me about the, the banking collapse. He said, watch the derivatives. I didn't know what a derivative was. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even spell it. All right. And he said, watch the derivatives. When the derivatives unravel, that will be the end of the financial system. Okay, so he's telling me all these things in 98, and I, saw, yeah, I keep going back to telling Paul Crouch. And Paul's listening to me, okay? And I'm thinking, well, the reason <laughs> the Lord's doing this is Paul's so busy with a worldwide network, he didn't have time to hear this stuff, so God's using me to tell him. And then Paul's going to go on international television, tell everybody to repent, and we're all going to live ha happily ever after, <laughs> you know? And I realized, Jim, after about four months of this, the Lord was, he finally told me, he said, your, your day, your time at TBN is done. Go tell Paul. And so I went to Dr. Crouch and I told him, I said, Paul, I, I have to resign. I, I, I'm under so much conviction. I've got to preach this message. And, and so uh, we parted in good, good terms. I mean, it was, you know, he treated me well. I like Paul Crouch. And uh, so he released me and I walked out the door and I'm standing out in the parking lot of TBN and I'm thinking, I just walked out of a career. And I'm, and I'm going to do what? I'm going to do what? I'm going to tell people to repent or God's going to burn down the nation? And that's what I did. And I started traveling. I started traveling. And then for the first year I traveled, and then in 99, in May 1999, the Lord opened up a door for a radio program, one station, Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. And then in... June of 99, he told me, announce on the radio for 90 days, judgment starts in America on September 11. Uh, this is 1999. You said that? I said it multiple times. For 90 days. I didn't know what it meant. No judgment wonder you didn't get invited to church. <laughs> I know. They didn't, <laughs> nobody wanted to hear this stuff. But, mm -mm. but I just was repeating what I heard in the Spirit. Okay? So... I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know if it meant September 11, 99. I didn't know. But two years later, I knew what it meant. Sure. So when, when, when the attack happened on 9-11, I was shocked, but I wasn't surprised. I knew what it meant. But I also came to realize at that time, Lori, I, I realized, now I understand. The vision I saw at TBN will not happen suddenly. It will happen incrementally over time. These are multiple judgments. It will culminate in war. War on American soil. But he said to me, he said, I was outside, this is November, late November 1999, outside of my home in Texas, out in the pasture field. It was a full moon. And the Lord said, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to stretch your faith. I'm going to build a studio for you. And I'm going to take this program national. And that's exactly what he did. And then he said, I want you to commit your life to me that you, will, that you will warn people. You will say whatever I tell you to say. And I said, Father, I'll do it on one condition. You promise no harm comes to my family for obeying you. I didn't ask for protection of me. I just said, I want you to promise that nothing happens to my family for me obeying you. Yeah. Okay? And the Lord promised me that night mm -hmm. no harm would come to me. But listen to this, Jim. This is November 99. Standing out in a pasture field. Toler, Texas, full moon. And he said, I will give you a national audience 
on television just before the judgment strikes America. Jim, nobody has invited me on television until you today. <gasps> this is it. This is it, Jim. 